Bill McConley, the Secretary for Workforce Solutions in New Mexico, says that this will not affect how unemployment covers tipped wage earners because they usually make the $10.10 an hour the city requires. This is an opportunity for uh, some uh, tipped workers to basically say, you know what, boss, uh, you've done, you've helped us out a lot. This is our way of helping you a little bit. And if you want to pay us three dollars an hour, you know, you can do that. It's not going to affect us servers because our wages that we basically make off of tips that we claim go back into taxes. So most of us come out with about a dollar as a pay, as a paycheck. Do you want any of that? Before? No. Rebecca O'Brien, a waitress at the Game 2 in Las Cruces, doesn't see a problem with lowering the tipped minimum wage. She knows if you can keep her working, she will make money. The harder you work, the more money you make. So whenever we get to actually work and actually serve, we're making money. So at the end of the day, you got to... You got to make money or work to make money. So Bill McConley, New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, Secretary of Workforce Solutions, knows the proposal to lower the tip minimum wage will not hurt the servers. At the end of the day, any worker is supposed to leave their job with whatever the minimum wage, the regular minimum wage is. But the Las Cruces servers taking this pay cut, it could mean they get to keep their job in the future. Here in Las Cruces with the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Will Heron. ABC7.